guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be a, doing a tutorial on the Lorac Pro 3. So if you have not seen, I have been going through all of the classic Lorac Pro palettes and doing a tutorial featuring each one. So this is my third tutorial and I am doing the uh, Pro 3 today. So I did create the look that I have on right now, which again, it's another very neutral look, a very easy, easy to wear, wearable day, day to day kind of look. Um, I definitely wanted to do something a little bit more fun this time, but when I was looking at this palette, it's just basically all neutral, so I kind of had to create a neutral look because that is what this palette is all about. But saying that, I actually do love this palette for that reason because I am a neutral look kind of girl. I do, uh, every once in a while, I'll wear something a little more color colorful and fun and different, but definitely for day to day, I feel like neutral is the way to go and that's why I love these palettes so much because they give you so much versatility for like any kind of daytime kind of look. So if you guys want to see this very neutral, wearable, cool tone shadow look today, keep on watching. So I'm going to start with taking this shade which is called Canvas and I'm going to use this deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. It's my favorite brush for just like setting the whole lid because it is so big and fluffy. It's like perfect for just setting. And I just used a concealer on my eye today as my primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that. By the way, Lexi is homesick today and she is watching videos on my bed so if you hear hear her making noises, that's what's going on. So um, as I mentioned already, I'm going to be doing a very neutral look today. Um, I did try playing with this palette to create something not as neutral since my last two tutorials were very neutral. But as you guys can see when you look at this palette, there really is nothing but neutrals in here. The only pop of color is this purple right here and it, it actually goes on a lot more, um, I don't know, it doesn't go on like super bright. It's a lot more of a dusty kind of a shade when you apply it. So there's really nothing but neutral. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this brush here, which is the Pro Featherweight brush from Sephora Collection in number 38. You guys know I use this in every tutorial. You guys know I use this in every tutorial. I love this brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade Clay, which is kind of like a pinkish undertone um, nude brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and just work that right into my crease and the outer corner of my eye as well. And as you guys can see, these eyeshadows from Lorac are extremely pigmented. So I like to make sure that I tap off the excess and go in very light handed with the brush, but you still get a ton of product. So um, this brush definitely makes it a lot easier with blending though, because it's so, so soft. It's just like blends so easily. All right, and then do the same thing on the other side. All right, next I'm gonna take this little bit of a smaller uh, crease brush. This is a Real Techniques brush, number 203 from the uh, Metals Collection. And this time I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna do really cool toned look this time. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and take, um, let's do the cool taupe. So um, it's a little bit cooler um, brown and it's just slightly darker than that clay shade. And I'm gonna keep this more right on the outer corner and directly into the crease. Wow, I got a lot more shadow than I was intending on my brush there. Again, these are so, so soft and pigmented that when you dip your brush, you wanna go real light handed or you get a lot of product. So today it was kind of a gray day outside. The sun's starting to come out now, of course, but it was kind of gray, so I set up my lighting um, instead of filming in front of the window. And sometimes when I do that, I'm so blinded that it, like, so much bright light is on my face that it kind of washes me out, and then it ends up being a lot darker of a look than I intended <laughs> because I'm kind of being washed out by the light, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take this Sephora Collection Pro Smoky Shadow Brush number 30, and I'm gonna use that to pick up this shade, which is called Light Pewter. As you guys can see, I don't think I've ever even used this shade, but it looks really pretty. It's a nice, like, cool-toned, um, taupey, shimmery shade, and I'm gonna pop that right on the first half of my eyelid. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that color, actually. I'm surprised I haven't even tried this color yet. It almost has, like, a very, like, well, it has, like, a purpley taupe kind of undertone to it. It's really pretty. Go ahead and do the same thing on both eyes. And then I'm just gonna take what's left on my brush and kind of pop it on the inner corner and just a tiny bit of the first half of my lower lash line, just like that. And then I'm gonna go back to that first brush, which is that featherweight brush and the shade Clay. 
I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that just to kind of softly blend together these shadows so that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm just going to take a basic pencil brush and I'm going to take the uh, first shade which was clay and run that on my lower lash line all the way across. I'm just going to take a little liner brush. This is from the Bodyography brand and I'm actually going to take this shade which is called Dark Brown. It is a darker matte brown on there and I'm going to use that to line my lower lash line. For the next step, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of a winged liner. Today I'm using my favorite one, which is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lash line real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have a very subtle wing aligner on today, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lash product. So today, of course, you guys know the drill. I'll be using this. This is the Givenchy Base Perfecto Lash Primer, and then I'm going to be topping that with the uh, Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. And then I'm just going to apply a lipstick today. I'm just going to wear my NARS um, Audacious Lipstick in the shade Anna. I love the formula of the Audacious Lipstick, and this shade happens to be my favorite, and it's a very cool tone nude, so I think it'll go great with this look. All right, you guys, so that is the finished look. Obviously, I already had, like, my base down and my brows, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Again, another neutral look from a Lorac Pro palette. That's why I love the Lorac Pro palette so much. I feel like they are mostly full of everyday usable eyeshadows that you can create a lot of different neutral looks from. Um, but as I mentioned, I am going to be continuing on with this series of tutorials from Classic Palettes. I think I'm probably going to head to the chocolate bars next, so let me know if you guys want to see that or if you have other recommendations that you'd like to see before that. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!